Hello and welcome to another two minute tip from Made on the Common. I'm Sarah and I'm here to share with you some quick and easy ways to make working with your spreadsheets easier, quicker and decidedly less painful. Let's get started. Today's video is all about the data that you download from Etsy and how to make sure that your dates work properly when you open those files up in Excel. The reason why you might need to fix your dates on your downloads is because all of the data that comes down from Etsy comes in the North American format and this uses dates that are set as month, day, year. So in this case, this would be the 16th of December. If you're based somewhere else like the UK, Europe or Australia, we would normally write our dates as day, month, year. So I would want that to say 16, 12, 19. The problem is that Excel can't recognise those dates because the system doesn't recognise the Etsy date format. So what you need to do is to convert the date. At the moment, these are coming down as text. These are coming down as dates, but getting read the wrong way. So that, which I think should be the 10th of December, Excel is actually reasoning that as the 12th of October. So that's why you need to convert your dates before you can use them in your Excel spreadsheets. The way to get around this is to open up a blank file in Excel, then go to data up here, get data from text CSV, go and find the file that you've just downloaded. So that I'm using the sold orders file, click import. It's a little while. And then what we want to do, you can see up here, the ABC means that it, it thinks it's text in the sale date. If you click on that, and it's, don't pick date, but go down here using locale, which just means location. Don't worry if it takes you a little bit of time for this box to pop up. I've just made a shortcut on this. What you want to do now is go and choose date. But the important bit is to choose English USA in this box. And this tells Excel that the data is coming from the US and it knows what date format to expect and will then convert that into the date format that fits your setup. So you can see now they've all changed. You can also do exactly the same. So go over here, find we've got another date column. Again, you want using locale. We now want the date. We want again, England, United States. Okay. And now you can do close and load. Now you see that it's all loaded. You can close that box so you won't need that box again. And now if you click on sale date, we go down to December. You now see you've got all your dates, so it recognises your dates properly. You can now use this data wherever you want to in Excel and load it into your other spreadsheets. What I would then do to save you having to repeat this process the next time you want to use this file, you just go to File, Save As. Give it a name. Save it and then you've got it ready to use next time. Thanks for watching this two minute tip from Made on the Common. And don't forget, if you want an easy way to manage your business numbers, you can find a range of tools designed especially for Etsy sellers and small business owners over in our Etsy store. Thanks again and see you again soon.